Portland Occupied Zone is a semi-cooperative board game where you and up to seven other players roleplay as slacker activists trying to bring about socialist revolution in Portland's fantasy Hawthorne district. Occupy local businesses, loot them, burn them down, and then loot them again. Assault the police and each other, light dumpsters on fire and roll them into crowded intersections, take a dump in the ball pit. The more mayhem you cause, the faster and stronger your filthy, disease-ridden squatter utopia grows. When your band of heroes finally defeats the police and takes over the municipal courthouse, the biggest disaster of a human being is the winner. There are eight different characters, each with their own unique abilities and styles of play, close to a hundred different useful items to loot, and dozens of in-game events and minor objectives. And if you get injured, not to worry, there is a medic on site, and if you don't attack him, you probably won't get shot. Welcome to Southeast Portland, the cultural mecca for ugly white people who can't afford San Francisco. Please come and patronize our many offbeat and eclectic local businesses. There's a vintage clothing store, a food co-op, an absinthe distillery, a tattoo parlor with a methadone clinic in the back, and many others. Did I say patronize? I meant steal from and set on fire. Take that, capitalism. The Portland Police Department exists, but due to inconsistent and contradictory instructions given to them by the City Council, and occasionally being defunded, they are mostly content to observe with amusement the chaos unfolding around them. If you commit a very serious crime, however, they will eventually have to come and get you. Though it may look like a shantytown made of trash, the Portland Occupied Zone, or POZ for short, is ground zero for social revolution and outdoor defecation. It grows like a diseased amoeba, spreading equality and scabies across the city. As your revolution increases in notoriety, more trust fund babies and homeless drifters will move in and pitch their tents, increasing its size and power. The POZ is mostly squalid tents, but there are special structures that have unique effects. Some effects are global, some benefit certain characters, and others are just piles of dirty laundry and used needles. There's quite a bit more to it, but that's enough to give you a general idea. The game is large and strategic and quite replayable. It's also mostly finished. Back our campaign and we'll make sure you get one. This is our third board game campaign, and we delivered the first two, so you can be reasonably confident we won't just stuff your money into a duffel bag and run off to Costa Rica or something.